Hello, you lavender scented cockbags. You're listening to the Battleship Patent Cast with its resident movie critic, Rob Stokes. Being a movie critic, I hate all movies, games, and TV shows, and I think I could do a much better job of writing them. To help prove my point, I've hired two dribbling idiots who've deluded themselves into thinking they're comedians Captain Michael Cook oh, and, and Stowaway Christy Cree. Hello. Now, stare in awestruck silence as you listen to the as of yet unnamed creative section, which will henceforth be known as. The Celebrity Death Lottery. So, how are you two gentlemen? Ready for some storytelling genius? Your silence is reassuring. <laughs> That's not awestruck silence, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm excited. What have we gotten ourselves into? Oh, it, no, Jesus. So what, how this goes is you're going to tell us a movie, a game, a TV show. What are we going with? Today we're going for a movie. Right, so... so Sony executive and Warner Bros. executive. Yeah, so today I should be playing the part of the uh, Sony executive. Hello. And to my right, playing the part of the Warner Bros. executive, Mr. Christy Cree. Hello. Right. So, it's going to be based on real-world events, because those are always great for Oscar season, which has long passed us making this... My slate's pretty full for next year's Oscars. (laughs) How did you get in here? Yeah. (laughs) We're executives, Get down to the pitch. Right. So, the film is based... God, I'm bored! (laughs) There we go. Thanks for letting me start my pitch. So... It I'm is. a Sony executive. It's my right to be an asshole. Right. Yeah. Ghostbusters thought, 3. See, never was, forget. <laughs> I thought that was Warner Brothers. No, no. Job. They like, just fuck with things. Yeah. Oh, no. If it's games, he's a dick. Yeah. yeah. Movies, he's fine. Movies, he's fine. <laughs> yeah. But kind of fuck with things. Yeah. So, the film is called Totaburger Wald. Which... What? Marketing. I can't see that trending on Twitter. Yeah. I'm out. Totaburger Forest is... Probably better. Burger Forest is even better. We don't need fat people in the cinema. <laughs> no. Burger Forest. Come They're going to be disappointed, people. just like no meat. We can get McDonald's involved. Some little McDonald toys, Happy Meal toys. Happy Meal toys. I'm there seeing franchises. Go. There we go. Yep. I'm seeing Burger lucrative Forest. deals. I'm, I'm, I've got the dollar signs we, in my eyes. Can we have a McDonald's res- restaurant in the movie that the character's eating? Um, it's going to be difficult because it's set in Roman times. Oh Jesus! It's yeah, going to may, be difficult. May, maybe a whippy, but we'll have some not arches, a wimpy. some golden yeah, wimpy. arches. Wimpy, oh, a whippy, fucking whippy. <laughs> yeah, ice wimpy. cream vans do they in Roman times? But they ain't got burger joints. Yeah, no, they were a decadent. It doesn't people. matter, picture. <laughs> picture. <laughs> right. So we open on a village in Germania, where some Romans are taking some hostages because they're like, well, you haven't been paying your taxes. And the Germans are like, but you don't even own this place. And the Romans are like, well... Who the fuck are the Romans? The Romans? Yeah, but in this movie, like, shouldn't it be a character? So there's this German guy and he's got a shop and he don't want to pay his taxes and then the Romans come well, around. And then hold on, this is the first scene. I'm setting up the story. No, but it's just Germans and we're just people. Like, well, they're just Germans at the moment. They are going... I'm just thinking, because I'm a Sony executive, I want Channing Tatum in this movie, and at the moment, he's not in the first frame. No, he's not in the first frame. He's in the 105th. Like, so... Rob doing comedy there, people. (laughs) Well, um, so you get um, the uh, Romans taking hostages for Germans not paying taxes. Yeah. And we see that the Roman captain is... A man named Varus, who can be played by somebody who can do a great dick. Just someone who you... I can do a great dick, Rob. Yeah, you know about great dicks. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. But, no, I'm thinking somebody you you don't really like. Someone like... See, I know we like Jeremy Irons, but he can play somebody who you're just like, I just want to punch you in the face. I'm sorry. Right, we shouldn't be talking about casting at this early stage. Yeah, Yeah, a bit of a heady self, Rob. But, yeah. We all deal with casting. Right. Okay. We are executives. Right. So, but yeah, you get this Roman who is like, I am Varus and I am very important and I am taking these two boys as hostages. And the parents are like, oh dear, this isn't good. Okay, so the parents are saying, oh dear. Yeah. And then... The First two line boys, of dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Page two. Yeah. So then the uh, two boys... female dear. <laughs> so the uh, two boys get taken and they're... They're told, right, 
You are going to become Romans. You'll be taught in the Roman ways, and you shall be known from henceforth as Flavus and Arminius. <laughs> Flavor Flavus. Flavor Flavus. Hey, Flav- hey, I didn't come up with the names. You can come up with better names with for With a branding. big sundial on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> right, carry on. Yeah. But yeah, you two can come up with better names for branding purposes. I didn't think of it. Evidently, there's a lot of work we're going to have to do with this. Yeah, right. So should we decide? So we see these um two boys grow into men. Yeah, boys to men, and the um I love boys to men. Yeah, that's a there you go. They, they can do the, the same community. Brand. No, I can't remember. See, what? That's... I'm too uncatted up. You're too white. Yeah, carry on. See, there you go. Um. Soundtrack already. Boys to men. Yeah. So anyway, um <laughs> but There's yeah. one guy who'd always cry. He always looked like he cried when he sang. Mm. Anyway. But yeah, so we have a um, bit of the film where Flavus and Arminius grow up to be Roman soldiers and they serve with distinction in Hungary. Where they're very, very good at being Romans and all the Romans are like, Yes, 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 isn't it great that we've civilized these Germans? And Arminius yeah, Flavus is all like, I love the Romans, they're so nice to Can me. Can we henceforth call him Flavor Flav? Flavor Flav. Yeah, so Flavor Flav is like, oh yes, I love these um j- these Romans, they're so great. But Arminius seems kind of interested in, in all the uh, prisoners that they keep taking. Um, these people who... He's a Fritzel type. Yeah, and some of them look to him and they go, you're a goth, right? You're one of us. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh. Yeah. We are familiar with those people. Wearing long black leather jackets, were they? So Flavor Flav isn't a goth. No. That is not a surprise. Yeah, no, but <laughs> Arminius is But well, his brother, yeah. Armenia. <laughs> yeah. Did he get his own country at the end of this story? <laughs> Amazingly, no. Oh, wouldn't have that. No. Oh, I would love that if you'd have been no. like, yeah, that's how no, they founded the country of, of Armenia. <laughs> no, one of the guys does go to Syria, so pretty close. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyway. But yeah. yeah. So, so Flavor, so his mates, are, his brother's a goth. Yeah. Well, and did yeah, they know they early on? Was it like yeah. self harm and suicidal tendencies? Uh, surprisingly, not. Um, Morrissey. No, they are. De- <laughs> they are depressed a lot of the time, and they do not listen to their parents. But that's... well, he had no parents. He got taken away. No wonder yeah, no. he's a goth. No, exactly. Well, it's they... a miracle. Flavor Flav made it to the mean streets of Compton or wherever. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so Arminius is kind of like, oh wow, you're um, all goths, and I'm a goth. Like, and he finds out that his real name is Herman, but he's like... Herman the God. But any time that any of the Romans are around, he's like, yep, I'm Arminius. And the Romans are like, you know what, Arminius... Alter ego. Yeah. Now that is something we at Sony can work with. Yeah, no. You get two, <laughs> you get two action figures for one character. Exactly, Amazing. bro. Yeah. And they are like, you know, Armin- Warner Brothers knows all about this. Armin- Just not in, represented in this room today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're like kind of... Oh, Arminius, you know what? You're so fantastic that we're going to give you the title of Equites, which is basically the Roman version. You will wrap around the middle of the earth. Surprisingly, no. It's basically the Roman version. Is this how they founded the word equator? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, no, they were just like, oh, no. It's it's basically the version of Sir for Romans. We and it also so means near. that they are the hottest people on earth as well. Oh, what? Well, I said, what? As in the equator. I, I'm, oh! I'm trying to do comedy. I was literally like... By repeating really? yeah. in a different form something I previously <laughs> said. Hey, the best people steal. <laughs> Fucking Carlos Menstelia over here. Anyway, back on with whatever you're doing, you <laughs> pitch. Yep, so then... Um, Where have you stolen this from, Rob? History! History. <laughs> Real life! Altogether <laughs> now. <laughs> but yeah, so um, we get Arminius who is given the title of Equites, and the um, Romans are like... And we also recognize... Is this first act? We're at the first act? Yeah, now. we're at the first act. Right, right, okay then. Yeah. So, it's coming so with- no, so, at uh, the first act point, Mr. Warner Brothers, how are you feeling? All right, I'm a little bit lost. Well, Flavor Flav's not a goth. Armenia is a goth. Yeah. What's not to get? I'm, They're uh, both goths by birth. I'm curious to how it's going to play out. I'm waiting for some Papa Roach. <laughs> Cut my cake in two slices. <laughs> this is my last dessert. <laughs> we bullied fat people with that in the early two thousands. I say it we, is, the straight community. The straight community. I, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, it is quite an easy um... act two. Please, right. picture. <laughs> so, 
the Romans say, Picture. right, Ar- 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 Arminius, you are recognised as Equites, and Flavor Flav, because you lost your eye in Hungary, we also recognise your bravery, and we are assigning you with a special task. You're going to go to Germania, and you're going to be led by this man, and it's Varus, from right at the beginning of, of the film. One who kidnapped him. Yeah. Ah. But he doesn't know that. He's just like, kind of, oh, these two... Oh, that was just a day in the life of Varus. Yeah, that was a day in the life of Varus. And I the see. way he's described throughout the film, um, he's like, wow, he's a really good, but really harsh and clever Roman general. He entered the rich province of Syria, a poor man, and he left the poor province of Syria, a real, a rich man. <laughs> a real rich man. A real yeah. rich man. Wow. Yeah. Historical quote there. Um, but that, so, uh, R- Varus says, look, I'm going to... Good ju- God, it's like a const, it's like constipation out of the mouth. <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 just trying to get a shit out. Right. But yeah, so Varus... Laxative, my friend. Laxative. Yeah. Poppers. <laughs> eh? Poppers. What's poppers for poppers the mouth? Poppers and lords. Poppers What's and lords. poppers for the mouth? Poppers uh, for the uh, mouth. Yeah, I believe what it. Would, like open your mouth and let you be able to talk more freely. Alcohol, but I usually talk shit if you do that. Which is why I've just taken a drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, we here at Battleship Town Castle are proudly sponsored by Newcastle Brown Ale. Yeah. yeah, I already talk enough shit anyway, so this just helps it get out quicker. Why? Eh? That's Newcastle in it. How we? How we, son? But How yeah. we with so, your story, Rob? Right. So Varus goes to. Um, Arminius, and he's like, right, I'm going to start taxing the Goths. And Who, right? And Arminius is like, do we actually own their lands? And Varus is like, nobody said we didn't. And if that, you are the that first. Was, that was basically his, his plan in real life, was just, I'll just turn up and start demanding money. And if they don't, I'll take people as hostages. And so Var- Arminius and Flavor Flav Go around past the Rhine, telling people, right, you got to pay the Romans. The seven seas of Rhine. Yep, X amount. And you see Armi- Arminius getting kind of um, intimate with some of the Goths, like kind of, wow, whoa, you, whoa, you're a Goth. Whoa, inexplicable dick in Creative Corner. What's going on? <laughs> no, not that. Ag- Actually, I don't know this history Roman, that well. I don't he know, did, you've written it, did, so it's not that yeah. inexplicable. He did marry a Goth, so it could be that kind of intimate. But he's like, kind of, you know who... Yeah, no, you know who I really am. You know me as Herman, not as Arminius. And Flavor Flav is like, nah, um, bad Flavor Flav impersonation. Does, Fla- does Flavor Flav know that he's a goth, secretly? Yeah. No, okay. they both know that they're goths, and. But Flavor Flav doesn't bite the hand that feeds. He just, yeah. he, he's, he's just happy, not be, he's pre- happy pretending, is he? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, no, so he's like, flavor I'm, thinking. he's like, I've got, I've got good shit going on here. I'm going to keep yeah. it this way. Whereas Goff guy, he's like, he's like oh, I remember. remember. Yeah, yeah. I right. remember. It's yeah. what I am. Stop Shut telling the fuck up. Yeah. The Romans are like, kind of, go do this thing, Arminius. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. That's why he's a little goth whiny bitch. But he's got yeah. principles, which is a good thing to have. Yeah, but so no. morals. No. Mm. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we're the same as these people. No, you're not. We're better, better and they're not. Oh, and then what, yeah. um, <laughs> eventually, yeah, Flav, Flavor Flav is, fi- starts fighting some of the more uppity goths. But oh, shit. Arminius then starts. When goths get organized. But then Arminius <laughs> starts going up to Varus with like, oh yeah, here's um, a legal dispute that I need your help solving. And Varus is like, oh, they've turned to me to, dis- to solve their disputes. Well, that's fantastic. They're basically Romans already. Ha ha. And he later dis- and when Arminius says, look, I actually am a goth, um, Varus is like, <laughs> brilliant. This proves that I am so fantastic at this that I've Romanized the province already. I'll get paid millions and millions of dollars. Which, dollars? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, it's Latin. Where do you think the Latin name for dollar comes from? Shut up. The Latin name for dollar comes from. Shut yeah. up. I'm not that stupid, you idiot. He's <laughs> like, oh. he's gonna think that the ancient Romans used dollars. It was all about green. Yeah! Put Washington on. Yeah, who's this? I don't know. Some guy from the future. See, I was thinking. See, so was... we all clearly know they use euros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, um, Arminius, yeah, Varus is thinking, oh, isn't this fantastic? I'm being told, I'm telling the Germans what to do, and they're doing it. And Arminius warns him, Look, I've been speaking to a lot of the Goths. They don't really do well 
with that's true. long <laughs> that's term... don't do well. Yeah, they don't do well. No, they're weak. Well, well, they like they with don't their really... principles. Yeah, he, well, he explains to them. Well, they're not what kind of shield is a principle. <laughs> well, he's just like they don't really um do things like the Romans. They don't like long term leaders or daylight. Yeah, they they'll have someone to be their general for a time, but they won't they won't accept a king. Like um, the wildlings in Game of Thrones. Oh. Cue yeah. crickets. Yeah, just... Carry uh, on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so they're just like, kind of, oh yeah, um, they they don't really do kings, and Varys is like, yeah, but I'll be the first, right? And Arminius is like, oh uh, yeah, sure, of course you'll be that. And Flav, Flav is Are you like, making this up on the spot? No. <laughs> Yes, I am making a historical event up on the spot. It fucking sounds But the detail, fucking, I, I don't know. Well, no, this... It, it, there's a lot of ums and ahs. Well, no, May is... I remind you, sir, you are pitching yeah. a Warner Brothers and Arminius Sony does executive. Inc- Do you know how rare it is to get us two in the same yeah. room? Arminius does indeed inc- include a lot of ums and ahs. <sighs> Comedy! So, anyway. That Newcastle Brown has gone to your head. Yeah. No, it's gone to Ears, the belly. eyes. <laughs> yeah, everything. Right. But yeah, so then eventually, about Act 2 end... So that's um, the end of Act 2? Yeah. What uh, do you think? A- act 2 ends... I don't know what the weird, fuck we're but... building to now. <laughs> <laughs> the end of Act 1, I was loving it. <laughs> act, act 2 ends with Arminius going to Varys and is, says, there's a load no, of gods... No, don't already go over what you've been on. Oh, well, he says, oh yeah, there's a load of... You can't oh, you can't talk about Act Two again. We are now reviewing Act Two. But he was he was about to get to the end of Act Two. Yeah, the end of Act Two is that was the end of Act Two, wasn't it? No, the end of Act Two is oh. him going to Varys and saying, "Look, there's a load of um, goths. There's a big rebellion starting up." That's how Mosh Pit started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rage and, Against the Machine. And headlining. we get the Emperor of Rome. No, they're not goth at all. I apologise to Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> yeah. I meant no. Cradle of Filth. And we, and we get the Emperor of Rome himself, Augustus, saying to Varys, take my three finest legions and go stop this rebellion in my lands. And so they march off. That's the end of Act 2? Yes. Okay. What do you think? So we've got two armies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Mm. Act 1. I was into this goth brother. Non-goth brother. I wanted the non-goth brother to win. Did you? You yeah. don't like the goths, why? Just be like, why don't you play football, fag? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Why do you always cry? <laughs> what those marks on your arm? Eh? Why have uh, you got yeah. all those marks on your arm? What's wrong with you? What have you been doing? Oh, on, on your thighs as well? What have you been trying to hide them? You're ashamed of them, are you? Oh, yeah? Yeah? Uh, right, so, so anyway, back to my movie pitch. Are you <laughs> really great... pale? Are you really pale? Why are you really pale? I am oh, you the got great- black hair. You got root. I am the greatest writer in the so world, I'm, I'm, and you I'm will getting, listen to me. I'm getting flashbacks. Like when I was at school as a goth, like, oh my god, no. <laughs> well, they just leave, leave me alone. alone. That's so, why. That's all right, all right. I'm that's sick to death of being bullied for being goth. goth. I've got it. I'm, I'm going to be gay. gay. I'd rather be bullied for being gay than being goth. Is that how it started for you? <laughs> yeah. Mister One, up as executive with your. I changed for razor. Thirst for dick. Put the razor down. Picked up a dick. And I've not. I've not looked back since. Uh, yeah, that should be a, a good little mantra the only time for any struggling goths out there. Put down the razor, pick up the dick. That goes for ladies. The as only well. time I've ever looked back is to make eye contact with a guy fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, picture. <laughs> right. So, Act Three, if we can follow that shit up. So, Act Three, we get the Romans marching into Germania, and they're going into the woods, and they're like, kind of, ooh, this is a bit. Spooky or whatever, but Varys oh, like, oh, Varys. soldiers were like, "Oh, this is spooky." Oh, well, I'm not trained well, for this woods. Yeah. Well, Varys is like, <laughs> "Dark woods." The Varys. gods do not protect well, us out here, friend. <laughs> well, Varys is like, "I don't care because I've got these two brothers who are my personal experiments. They were taken from Gothic lands, and now they are perfect Romans who cut their hair properly and are nice. Cut their hair properly, yeah. and are obviously not playing me for. Yeah. yeah, they're not blaming me for suckers whatsoever." They used to be Philistines. Yeah. What is a Philistine? A person who lacks culture. Ah. Mm. Me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hence why I've called you that for many years. Philistine. Uh, Came back from Australia. Because, yeah. Hello, Philistine! <laughs> oh, here we go. Jesus. Yeah. And One because of those guys were... who goes travelling for a week. And because... <laughs> <laughs> Comes back cultured. Yeah. And because you were a Philistine, you didn't understand what he means. Yeah, I was like, what? what is that? What? What do you mean other people from other countries are cool? I do love Philadelphia. Thank you. 
Yeah. You were well, friends with Germans? <laughs> Didn't they kill Jews? <laughs> yes, and that's why I'm friends with them. I, I didn't think that. I did know a German with the surname Braun. I was like, hmm. Yeah. I think that every time I meet someone young as a German, I'm like, your grandparents. You're just like, Guten Tag, uh, my name is Jan Hitler. I'm like shaking my hands like, I know that you I got- meant to say Goebbels, bastard. <laughs> You've got blood on these hands, I can feel well, it. Well, as I said before, we were sponsored here today in the Creative Corner by Newcastle Brown Ale. And this will be providing the third act. Pitch away, friends. Yes. Pitch, pitch, pitch. So right. Varus is going, oh yes, I, these two people are obviously very, very trustworthy. And Arminius is like, yeah, um, you know what? I'm going to scout ahead and make sure that there isn't an army up ahead. Uh, okay. And Which like, means oh, I'm going to go sure. join an army. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, he says, oh, by the way, Flavor Flav, just, uh, do you mind coming with me for a bit? Only um, if I can bring my bitches. bitches. Yeah. And so when Flavor Flav gets his bitches, he rides with, um, Arminius. And he gets pulled to the side, and Arminius is like, so, how much did they pay you extra for losing that eye? And Flavor Flav is like, well, they gave me a tribute, and they gave me extra wages. And Arminius is like, the wages of a slave are very low. Historical quote. And Arminius says, look, I don't really like the Romans, and you know that I've been speaking to the Goths a lot. Because they are my people, and they are your people as well. Uh, Principle's so, going to win out, I, I think. I don't yeah. think so. These pussies are getting what's coming to them. <laughs> oh, no. And Flavor Flav... I don't remember the Goths in my history book. Uh, <laughs> Flavor Flav is like, um, look, Arminius, do you mind not uh, sounding so creepy? And Arminius is like, please, my name is Herman. Ah. I am not... Nick Bin Herman. Yeah. Um, Actually, is there a big statue of this bloke? There is. I've seen that fucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Previously on Lost. <laughs> He's got a flashback. Yeah, Shit, I did. Yeah. I was like, hang on a minute. When you said my name's Herman, I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I remember going I to know. Germany at school and we went to see that big statue and we were told explicitly to not call the statue Herman the German. Of which, we, of course, we did. Yeah. Why? That's such a weird... Because, I don't know, apparently... Herman the German. I don't know, hilarious. that's what I remember. Mr. Robson being like, right, everybody, you are not to refer to it as Herman the German. Which is weird. Or take the Mickey. <laughs> See, which is weird because every documentary I hear about it, it was like kind of, yep. Herman so, the German. Yeah, <laughs> Herman the German was born and, you know, you're just like. Yeah. Honestly, that's all I remember. And I remember thinking, it's like a shit Statue of Liberty. <laughs> yeah. Because I always thought, Statue of Liberty is like in the ocean and shit. A symbol of, Ger- like, that's cool. a symbol of German independence and it's Herman the German looks shit. <laughs> yeah, well, he's just in the middle of a field. Yeah. Just oh, so there's no like, like thing saying, "Come, come see it." Yeah, yeah, it's a terrorist place. Yeah, I was about know. to say, there's probably a road sign saying, "Come see the big <laughs> statue." It's somewhere near Hamlin because that's the only other place I can remember going. Anyway, back on with the third act. Yes, yeah, so Arminius is saying, "Look, I've I've been speaking to the Goths, and I I am a Goth myself, and." Pussy. Yeah. Can, I, we, I, can we now change? Can we make the amendment that goths from here on out are now referred to as pussies? Right, so he's like, I am a pussy, actually. I'm a, a, a. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what they sound like. Rob went method there. Yeah. I know. I, are you I, drawing I, on previous experience? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just remembering all of my my chemical romance CDs. I'm like, kind of, ah, how would I. Pitch, listen? pitch, pitch, pitch. Yeah. So he's like. Well, I've been speaking to them, and I don't really like the Romans at all, because they took me from my home. And Flavor Flavor's like, I don't like where this is going. And Arminius is like, do you really think I was taking legal disputes to Varus? I wanted him in this field. You know, I was just trying to bring him in. I made Uh. all that shit up. Uh I was just hoping to bring him in to fight my... For, to fight this army that I've been gathering for ages and ages and ages. Oh, my word. And he's like, I, I pulled you out because you're a goth like me and I don't want you in the fight. Yeah, I don't want you there. And Flavor Flavor's like, I am not helping you kill these Romans. Yeah, these are my people. And Arminius is like, I'm not asking you to help me. The battle started two hours ago. Oh, my word. And they go back and they go back and everyone is dead. And who are the Romans? Yeah, all the Romans. So are the just... Goths won. Yeah, the Goths won handily. Cut my life into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And here I thought you put my fingers into my eyes. (laughs) Crawling in. Whoa, 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 picture. Calm down. We're executives. We're the only people I know who can sing your song. I was going to say, I didn't think Creed did like singing. No, no, I just got got carried away. Victory will take you to different places, my friend. (laughs) Because I love that ending. That, That ending of. No, no, I've just loved you away. So those pussies lost? No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. They kicked ass. Your team of pussies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I'm so going to go he... reassess my manhood. <laughs> yeah, so he um goes around a battle and... Well, that's game set. Imagine it for the movie. Well, not quite yet, because oh. uh, there's a t- not twist, because... There's oh, like, I'm not Shyamalan. Yeah. If you read history <laughs> books, this is not a twist. This is just like, yes... It's no, this the... is just history. Yeah, this is just... <laughs> Yeah. If you know the story, this isn't a twist. Bruce yeah. Willis is a ghost. I know. Yeah. Well, he goes to um. He Spoiler. says, "Did I, you know? Is Varus alive?" And they like, nope. He committed suicide rather than be captured by us. And ah. you get a brief moment of Herman being. That's like, a pussy move. Yeah. Well, you sure Varus who's a pussy a now, eh? Yeah, we sure Varus won actually a hidden goth. Well, for a moment, you do get um Herman going, "My revenge, no." But I'm a bit like that. I've got Marilyn Manson CDs. Yeah. I don't play them when women are near me. <laughs> but, you know. So you play them a lot. They man. are there. <laughs> you play yeah. them a lot. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Right? <laughs> Every day. But yeah. The beautiful people. The... <laughs> oh. Love that but song. yeah. So he give, he's like, kind of, no, my revenge or whatever. And he gives the head to, of Varus to Flavor Flav. And he's like, if you're a Roman, take this back to your emperor and never come back here again. And Flavor's, Flavor's like, um, okay. And he rides back to Rome and he gives, goes to the emperor and goes, uh, sorry, but, um, here's this head. And the emperor is like, oh dear, that was about the tenth of all of the army. Right, we will never attack again. Like, we're just not. So the Goths got their own country out of it? Basically, like, this is why you've not, there's a, romantic and Germanic split in languages because the Romans just looked at Germany after the Battle of Teutoburger Wald and they were like, well, fuck that shit. We're not going. No. But then you go back to uh, Germany and Hermann is like, well, isn't it fantastic that I, your friend who came from the Romans and came back is now your ruler because I helped you kill all the Romans. Uh-uh. And all the Goths are like, um, pardon? And uh, and Herman is like, yeah, no, it's fantastic. I am so great. You may call me King Herman. Uh uh. And they're just like, Arminius, stop. And Herman is like, ah, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. And he dies. He just gets stabbed. So who built the statue? Um, people. Oh shit! So they stab him. Yeah. No, they kill him. That's the go- hysterical. The, go- yeah, the Goths were like, kind of, yeah, we don't like the idea of being. Told alive. you they were pussies. That's good. Man. Yeah. I like that. Well, that's, that's what you get for winning. Yeah, well, stabbed in the back. back. Yeah, he was too happy. He got he got too arrogant. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, they they were goth, right? And then he won and got super stoked, like he'd taken like five ecstasy pills at once, and then did a line. Like, what are you doing? And then he's coming, like, guys, this is brilliant. We're all goths together now. We're good together. Shank. We just want to sit and smoke and drink coffee, yeah. dude. Dude, we got. All right I just poetry. think all these conformists. Yeah. South by we don't need a leader to write poetry. God. Well, I'm, 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 that's, a good, that's a good story. Another good story. History's full of them, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. So at the end of that movie, I asked you, Mr. Warner Brothers Executive, what's your thoughts? Shit. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> After all I love kind of, it. Shit. I love it. I love this story. It's great. It's, I, I like it personally, but it's completely unbankable. I'm sorry. We're going to offend a lot of people. We can't do this now. Come back with a superhero film. Powerful. And I was a Sony executive. What would a Sony executive do? They'd make it. I was about to say, is that on a bracelet? Just like, what would Jesus do? What would Sony executive do? Yeah, what would Sony executive do? I will... Before I make my decision, I must email some racist slurs to one of my colleagues. Um, <laughs> Topical! We at Sony do not make pictures for people of sound mind and people of sound mind tend to be interested in historical things so we won't be making it we've got Ghostbusters to roll out bro. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to disprove these two fools who won't invest in my movie, you can... The silence will be deafening. Well, you can comment below and prove these fools wrong for me. Well, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from him. (laughs) (laughs) And and the theme of stealing jerks. Cut my life into pieces, this is my last resort. Cut my cake into slices, this is my last dessert. Stink.